The Black Sea separates Europe from Asia, but it connects as much as it separates because this has always been a vital trading area. Seven nations share its coast. Over millennia, it has been a region where different peoples have met, have fought, and exchanged goods and ideas. Religions and ideologies have come and gone, leaving their monuments and their myths. Now, the collapse of the Russian Empire has left a void, which is filled by a discotheque in a mock temple to Zeus, blasting out pop music from the triumphant West. The consumer economy has taken over, while the ghost of Lenin looks on in horror. The downfall of communism has left millions of people without a working economy or a functional system of beliefs. For centuries, the Black Sea served the people of its shores well, yielding an abundance of fish. Its shoreline molded pleasant beaches and wildlife sanctuaries. But the great rivers that drain into it, the Danube and the Dnieper, the Dniester and the Don, carry the effluence of 170 million people from Europe's heartland.